The OG YouTuber Hank Green has made a name for himself in the education space on YouTube teaching the next generation. But this week, he accidentally proved God's existence. You won't want to miss this. I was thought about the fact that it's weird that your hair doesn't grow up to your ear. I'm not messing about when I tell you that this is one of the like biggest, most exciting active areas of biological research out there. Um, not just like the fact that you don't have hair that grows all the way to your ear and like your hair knows where to stop, but like where everything knows where to stop and what to be. Like one of the most mind blowing things about a human body is that there, you can make, you can, a person can be like eight feet tall or like four feet tall but all their organs still fit inside. There's not like a bunch of empty space in a tall person. And like, how does my lips know to be lips? And how is like the inside of my mouth is different from that? And the tongue is different from that. Why doesn't hair grow out of any of those parts? Why don't I grow hair on the inside of my body? When we start to look at this, it is fascinating and very weird how bodies organize themselves so that we don't accidentally grow like a heart on our elbow. The fact that we exist at all. So cool. I'm not sure where Hank Green lines up on the whole Christianity versus atheism debate, but even just watching this video, it continues to blow my mind that some people think that all of this came about by random chance processes. Like it was just like a really lucky day, like a really lucky like million years. Like imagine if you like won the lottery every day for like a million years, that's how lucky it is, but like times that by like a billion. To me, when I look at the marvelous intricacy of our world, it testifies to the detail or oriented creator that we have. You see the similarly constructed pattern sequences all throughout creation and it testifies to me the signature of the sculptor. Proverbs 19.1 says that the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of his hands. If we look at this from an evidentialist standpoint, there is plenty of evidence to demonstrate that God exists. Well, not enough evidence, my dear boy. That's exactly the response I would expect because it's not about the evidence. We don't need more evidence. That's not our primary problem. Romans 1 points out our problem, the fact that we know God exists, but we simply suppress that truth in our unrighteousness. You see, our primary problem isn't that we don't have enough evidence to believe in God. It's that we've placed ourselves as judge over God and that our sin has blinded us to reality. You guys know that song, Amazing Grace, right? I once was blind, but now I see. Sin blinds us. In Psalm, it says, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind and lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. Okay, so let's get this straight. God is the one who opens eyes to see, and we are the vessels that proclaim his truth to a world that lives in spiritual darkness. Does this mean that we shouldn't use apologetics and only preach the gospel? No, I love apologetics. I'm passionate about apologetics and I think it's important for every Christian to know how to defend their faith. But when too much of our attention is focused on formulating the perfect argument or coming up with that one piece of evidence that's going to convince them, we're missing the point. The heart of their problem is the problem of their heart. It is deceitfully wicked above all else. Who can understand it? Romans says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, we have all fallen short of God's good and perfect standard. But God in his loving kindness gave us a way to escape the shackles of sin, pride, and self-worship. God has the power to transform you from the inside out, to make you into a new creation from a sinner to a saint. No evidence could do that only him. This was the game changer for me. Simply believing that there is a God won't save you. Believing that the world was created by intelligent design won't save you. Believing in Jesus and him alone is the only thing that will save you. If I could summarize the main idea of this video into one sentence, it would be this. Apologetics is a pit stop. It's not a destination. The last thing that we want is to get lost in the weeds and having the same debates over and over again while neglecting what this whole thing is about, who we're trying to get people to see, who we're trying to point people to. That it should be clothing our mission in everything that we do and directing our steps. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about apologetics and God's existence in the comments down below. If you like these videos, I'd ask you to subscribe because I'm putting out a new one every single day. A huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon that keep this ministry going and growing. If you want to support what I'm doing and helping people follow Jesus daily, head to the link in my description. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.